Welcome to a demonstration of the Gravitational Acceleration Interactive Illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the relationship between the distance traveled and velocity of objects under different rates of constant acceleration. The illustration must be initialized before it can be run. This is done with the Set Reset button. The speed the illustration will run is a function of the processing power of the computer it is running on. On new computers it may run quite fast. If this is a problem, the speed controller across the top can be used to slow it down. Once initialized, the model will drop balls from 10,000 meters in different gravitational environments. The two sliders immediately below the Set Reset button allow the gravity on the left and right half of the main window to be varied independently. Dropping the balls is done by clicking the Drop button. The switches below the drop button toggle on and off reporters that show time, distance, and velocity information. The graph below the main window will plot distance, the distance each ball travels over time as they fall. Let's begin by hitting the Set Reset button to get going. Doing this brings up an image with a line down the middle and a colored ball on either side of this middle line. The acceleration each ball will experience once dropped is shown across the top. All of the information switches are set to off, so no additional information is being shown. The model loads with gravity set at 9.8 meters per second squared on both sides. With these settings, the balls will fall at the same rate. As the balls fall, the graph begins to plot distance over time. Note, the time shown is model time, not real time, and the actual rate the balls fall will vary from computer to computer. Constantly updating time, distance, and average velocity information can be shown in the, at the bottom of the window by selecting the appropriate switches. These switches respond immediately while the balls are falling and can be toggled on and off afterwards by tapping the drop button. With acceleration due to gravity of 9.8 meters per second on both sides, both balls will fall 10,000 meters in 45.2 seconds. The lines on the graph are on top of each other, so only one is visible. Varying gravity will cause the balls to drop at different rates. This can now be seen on the graph. The interval switch will show distance and velocity at five second intervals in the main window. This interval information can be toggled on and off in the same way as the other reporters. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the illustration.